Hi guys, I'm Sly Guy, and we're back with another episode I'm doing once again, another tier list for you. I got Gen 1, I already did Gen 1, but as you can see, that they're shiny. I'm doing Gen 1 shiny tier list. I didn't want to do any videos today. I did an overnight shift today. I worked 10 p.m. to 8 in the morning, and I've been, like, my legs are, like, killing me for some reason. I only got three hours of sleep within the last two days and I've been getting pretty pissed off with my YouTube channel lately I had two series fail on me like not fail as in like performing badly I mean failing that I can't upload them due to errors and so I lost about tw I've lost 12 to 11 videos that are just useless. One was a whole playthrough of a full game. Game. I didn't even uh, fix this one. This one was supposed to be for one. Make the color different. And canoe and F. But yeah, there. Yeah. Every tier list I find only has five tiers, but I'm doing every Gen One shiny Pokemon because I like shiny Pokemon. I hunt them. Um, most not. I don't hunt them anymore because. I don't play Let's Go Pikachu anymore, and I don't play on my 3DS anymore. I hunt them in Pokemon Go, which I enjoy, but I'm not really hunting. I'm kind of just clicking and hoping for the best. But anyways, I'm kind of dragging on a lot. Here's my YouTube channel right here. If you like what you've seen, you want to see more, like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out. It will help me out so much in the long run, because I'm just... I'm not really enjoying my... Six, enjoying the... I don't know, I feel like I'm in a slump, not really f enjoying it. But, anyways, I'm gonna get started here. Gen 1 Shiny Pokemon. Uh, in my other tier list, I usually don't do every Pokemon, but I will be doing every Pokemon in this one, since the Shinies are gonna be different. And I'm not gonna be going into great detail, I'm just gonna say whether or not the Shiny is, like, good or bad. And, they're not... I don't like the ordering of it, but I'm just going to do it how the order is. And they started out with Voltorb and Electrode. Voltorb and Electrode... Um, I think I will put them in an S. I've, these are really, really good shinies. I actually really want them to release them in Pokemon Go pretty soon. Hope pretty soon. Because they're really nice shinies. Out of all the Gen 1 Pokemon they've released so far, I can't believe I haven't released Electrode and Voltorb yet. Because they, they are really nice shinies. Execute and Exeggutor. I'm going to put both of them in A. I think they both also got solid shinies. Not not S rank, but still really good. I'll be really happy with them. Some sprites are better than others. Like, I don't think, like, Exeggutor's uh, Nintendo 3DS shiny is that great. I think Execute might be a little better. Is a better. But, you know, what, what can you do? In, um, for Cubone and Marowak. I'll put them in B. They have a green. Nobody really likes the green shines, but I don't think Cubone and Marowak are the worst ones of it. And if I do end up, do get these shiny, I do enjoy getting them. Him on Lee is the same concept, but I'll say is a little worse, so I'll put in C. Him on Chan. Same thing, it has the ugly green, but the blue boxing gloves are a really nice touch, so I'll make it move up to B. A Lickitung, a Lickitung's F. I don't care if it's gold, it's still a Lickitung, so I will I'll be generous, I'll put it in D. Gold is my favorite, probably my favorite shiny, but since it's a Lickitung, I don't care. <laughs> Coffin is going all the way to A. I love shiny Coffin, I think it's a very underrated shiny. Like, I just love, like, the blue is nice, and even if they change the smoke color of Shiny Coffin to purple, like, that's a nice touch. I really enjoy it. Really love Shiny Coffin. Really happy when they released it. Shiny Caterpie, I'll put an A. Shiny Gold Caterpie looks really nice, and Weezen, the same spot as uh, Coffin in A. We got Rhyhorn and Rhydon. I think Rhyhorn got a better Shiny than uh, Rhydon. I'll put Rhyhorn in B and Rhydon in C, just because when I do get a shiny, if I do get a shiny Rhydon, I will be happy with it, and I still want them to release shiny Rhyhorn as shiny in Pokemon Go too. Uh, Chansey, I'm gonna put Chansey in C, not the best shiny, uh, uh, honestly. 
Uh, Tangela. Another green shiny, but Tangela is definitely one of the best green shinies because it kind of fits since it is like vines. I'll put it in B, so I still don't think it's A material, but it's definitely the best green one so far. Maybe Hitmonchan might be better because just of the blue gloves, but Tangela's red feet is nice. It's not ch ch they didn't change color, but it's still nice. Kangaskhan, I'll put Kangaskhan in C's. I don't think it's that great of a shiny. Uh, Horsey, C as well. Same with Cedra. They're average shinies. Uh, Seekin and Golding, they're the first F shinies. I don't. Their shinies are horrible. Like, they don't look different at all. They look barely any different. And they're bad Pokemon to begin with, so nobody would be hunting these. For these these horrible of shinies. When you got a horrible Pokemon with a horrible shiny, that's not good. Uh, Metapod. I think Metapod definitely has the worst shiny in the Caterpie line. I'm going to put Metapod in B. It's still not bad, but could be better. Staryu. Staryu is an S. Star Mevo. I don't. I'm not sure if Star Me is S. I really. I like Staryu's way better than Star Me's. So I'm going to put Star Me in A. But they're both still really good. But Star Me, Star, I love the color in this sh with Star You. I, I can't believe that Star Me and Star You don't have their shinies released in Pokemon Go yet. Because they're so damn good. They're still, they, they release so many damn Gen 1 shinies. And I still can't believe like they, they've, what uh, ones they've released above other ones. I guess it's crazy. Uh, Mr. Mime, another green one. That's going into C. Cypher. Cypher. It's not the best shiny in older games. And technically newer games. I think the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee shiny is actually pretty decent. I'll put it in B. Shiny Jinx. Shiny Jinx shiny isn't horrible, but it's Jinx, so who would really want a Shiny Jinx anyways? Unless it was absolutely amazing, which it isn't, I'll put in C. Electabuzz. I'm gonna put in D. It's not too great. Magmar. Same thing with Magmar. Like, I don't like p pink fire. Like, blue fire is so much cooler than pink fire. Like, Magmort, ugh, why does it have the ugly-ass scratching add-on, and why can't I fucking get rid of it? I'll do, I'll put this here, so you don't see that freaking disgusting, rashy skin. Like, nobody wants to look at that. Moving on. <laughs> Shiny Pincer. Shiny Pincer is solid. Um, I think... Especially Mega Pincer. I think I'll put pins, Shiny Pincer in A. Shiny Tauros. Kind of green, but I like... But since it got different shades to it, I think I'll put it in B. Magikarp. Magikarp is S. Magikarp is amazing. Gold Shiny, love it. I'm always excited when I get a Shiny Magikarp. Shiny Butterfree, I'll put in A, along with Caterpie. It's not gold, but the color in is solid. I kind of wish it was pink like in the anime, but oh well, what you gonna do? And shiny Gyarados, like of course that's going into S. It's freaking get a red Gyarados. Its color scheme is amazing. Lapras. I'm gonna put Lapras in B. I don't think it's too amazing. It's alright. Not amazing. Ditto. Ditto is a cool shiny, but I never... Hmm. I'm gonna put Ditto in A. It's still really... It's really good, but... I no fuck off, Jesus Christ! Scroll to see more. It doesn't get rid of a nasty ass photo though. A uh, shiny Eevee. Shiny Eevee is a really good. I don't think it's just as amazing, and everybody always evolves their Eevee, anyways. A uh, shiny Vaporeon. I think the Eevee Lucians definitely have worse ones. Shiny Vaporeon is the best one in my opinion. They'll go in B. Shiny Jolteon green, just like so many others, I'll put in C. It's not still a horrible green. And Shiny Flareon is barely any different, so that's going into D. Shiny Porygon is a very nice shiny, I'll put in A. Amastar and Ammonite, I'm going to put in C. Uh, not too crazy over them. Weedle, Weedle's shiny is alright, but it doesn't. it still doesn't look that different from its original color scheme. I'm going to put in B. 
Kabuto and Kabutops, I'm also going to put in B. There's one of my preferred green shinies. I actually pretty, I actually enjoy looking at them. I really want one in Pokemon Go too, and I haven't got it yet. Haven't got one yet. Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl is going to go into C. If a pink really doesn't fit with Aerodactyl. Shiny Snorlax. It doesn't really look any different, but I actually like seeing Shiny Snorlax. I'll put it in C still though, just because it's fairly different. Uh, Shiny Articuno is F. Like, I can't stand shiny legendaries that are barely any different because they're so hard to hunt in the first place. And it's like, why? It's like barely not. It's not even worthwhile hunting a shiny legendary if a shiny is freaking horrible. Zapdos is going in the same category. Moltres, the only one with a different shiny, but it's still a pink. Pink fire, pretty much. It doesn't look that great. I'm gonna put in C. Uh, Dratini. Shiny Dratini. I think Shiny Dratini solid. I'm gonna put in A. Same with Dragonair. Dragonite. I really hate that Dragonite went from, uh, green. went from pink to green, but I still. I honestly think the purplish pink wasn't gonna fit Dragonite in the first place. I'm gonna put Dragonite in B. I got this tier list is getting B already. How, what is, how does this look on footage? Alright, you guys can only see the first line of Pokemon and nothing else. We're moving into Kakuna. I don't know where... Oh, Beedrill's right there. Uh, Kakuna... Never green, but like, Kakuna isn't bad. So, I'm gonna put in B. Oop, I want it in front of Weedle. I'm gonna do Beedrill next. Beedrill is better than Kakuna. I'm gonna put that in A. Especially, I like her blue eyes too. It looks really nice. Mewtwo, Mewtwo shiny is pretty garbage. I'm gonna put that in D. Uh, I'll put in C just to be nice. Mew though, Mew got a solid shiny. I'll put, I'll even put Mew in S. It looks great. It looks really similar to uh, Ditto shiny, but uh, I think it might even be the same shiny because I think isn't there a saying that people were trying to use. Ditto to make Mew. Maybe that's why the shinies are similar. But Mew is better than Ditto in my opinion. Uh, Pidgey, F. Pidgeotto, F. Pidgeot. I don't remember even. I don't remember what shiny Pidgeot looks like in the regular game. So just in case I make a mistake, I'm going to put in D. Just because just from this sprite, it looks a little bit better than those two. But shiny Pidgey is horrible. Uh, Rattata. Uh, D. Eradicate, I'll put in C. It's a little bit better. Um, but I really hate how they ordered these Pokemon. Like, where the hell is Ven Venusaur? Bulbasaur is right here. Ivysaur is over here. Like, where the hell is everybody else? Ah, stupid. Uh, Bulbasaur, I don't think Bulbasaur is that great. So I'm gonna put Bulbasaur. I'll put Bulbasaur in Sivo just to be nice. Spear and Fero, they look very horrible, Shinies. F. They look exactly the same from Pidgey and Pidgeotto, too. Like, that's so stupid. Ekans is D. Ekans isn't good. Arbok. Eh, is Arbok gold? I'll put Arbok in C. Pikachu is going to F. Like, Pikachu, but it's honest, honestly, it's a horrible Shiny. It's just slightly darker. It's stupid. Raichu, I'm going to put in I'm gonna put Raichu in D because it is a little bit better than Pikachu. Uh, Sandsl Sandshrew, I'm gonna put in C. Sandslash, though, I Sandslash is an A shiny. Sandslash, very underrated shiny. I think not a lot of people talk about Sandslash as shiny. I think it's really good. Uh, oh, there's Venusaur now. Nidoran female. Um, I'm gonna put that in C. I don't think it's too amazing. Uh, same with Nidorino, and actually Shiny No Queen Vo is going into D, because that green is freaking disgusting. It's almost as bad as Como. -O. Uh, Shiny Ivysaur. Yeah, Shiny Ivysaur doesn't really look good either. I'm gonna move Shiny Ivysaur down to D, I think. I don't think it looks that great. And I'm gonna do the same thing with v Venusaur, like the Shiny Grass Starter from Generation 1. Shiny's not on point, gotta be honest. But now we're at the Nidoran male line. 
They're all going into S. These are one of my favorite shinies. Actually, these two are going into A because they definitely don't look as good as Nidokane. Nidokane is an S tier shiny. One of my favorite shinies in Generation 1 by far. I just love the blue. It's a fantastic shade of blue. Uh, Clefable and Clefairy. They're going into F. Green ears. That's pretty much it. Like, it's dumb. Vulpix. I'm going to put Vulpix in C. But I'm putting Ninetales all the way in A. It's way better looking than Vulpix. Way better looking. But white. Really cool. And then the little tips accent in it. Accent in it really nice. Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff a C. I like the green eyes, actually. Oh no, you can't even see the Pokemon now. I, I gotta scroll down. Alright, we're on to Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff, I'm putting in B. I think it's above average, especially in the newer games. It looks, it looks pretty decent. I hate that I gotta go all the way down now. Zubat. I'm gonna put Zubat in D. Same with Golbat. They're the ugly green again, and they're so annoying to catch and run into, so I would be really, if, like, the shiny has to be amazing for me to really want it. Uh, the Oddish line, that isn't Blossom, I'm also going to put in D. It's, uh, actually, Oddish is better than Gloom and Vileplume. I'll put Oddish in C, Gloom and Vileplume in D. They have, they're ugly, ugly shade. Paris, I actually think Paris looks different. I'm going to, but... I don't. I haven't seen it in a while. I don't really care about Paris in general. Paris would have to have an ama super amazing shiny in order for me to just want to catch it, and it doesn't. Parasite looks like it has an even worse shiny though, so I'm gonna put that in F. Uh, we got Venomoth, the Venonat line. I actually really like this evolution line. I'm gonna put it Venonat in A, and Venomoth is actually going no Venonat in B, Venomoth in A. And really nice blue. There's a lot of really nice blue shinies. I wonder if that's just because of, uh, they only, they color swapped them with, I don't know how they color swapped them, but they, they did the same method until, like, Generation 6, which kind of sucks, because that's why there's so many greens. Oh my god, there is so much more greens. Uh, Charmander. Charmander? I want to put in C. It's honestly not the best shiny. It, it might even, it might even have been lower, but since we all know what Charmander evolves into, like, that, that'll be why it's in C, because you will always be happy encountering a shiny Charmander, unless you got, like, a million of them. Uh, Diglett and Dugtrio, I'm on, I'm gonna put them in F, honestly. I don't care that the nose is a different color. You gotta change a whole lot more than the goddamn nose. Meowth and Persian, put them in F. Horrible damn shinies. I can't even tell what the difference from shiny Persian is by just looking at it. I haven't even seen a shiny Persian. <laughs> like, I don't think I've seen one in a long ass time. Shiny Mouth, I can tell that the shading is like darker, but that's it, it's lame. Like, when you got a lame ass Pokemon like Meowth and Persian, they need an amazing ass shiny in order for anybody to freaking care about encountering the shiny. Like, Jesus, can you guys see? Alright, Psyduck. Psyduck is B. I like the Psyduck color. Golduck, though, I, f I think I gotta put Golduck all the way down to D. Like, Psyduck's shiny is way better than Golduck's, which is really disappointing. Uh, Mankey. Primate shiny looks horrible in this thread. I don't recall seeing a shiny Primate either. I'm gonna put Mankey in D and Primate in F. Like, Primate, just from this sprite, it does not look good. And I can't imagine what it looks like in the new games. I don't have a shiny uh, Mankey or Primeape in uh, Pokemon Go, so I can't tell what it looks like, and I haven't seen one either. And I don't want to look it up either, because I don't really care about Mankey. Mankey, if it's a Pokemon that I don't care about, the shiny has to be, like, really good in order for me to just care about the shiny, at least. But I don't, because it's not good. Growlithe and Arcanine, I'm going to put them both in C. Their shinies, honestly, aren't that great. Could be a lot better for a pretty iconic Pokemon. Charmeleon, put in C2. Like, lighter shades, not that great, but would have been lower if we know, if we didn't know, if it didn't evolve into such a great shiny, which will be coming to shortly. Poliwag, Poliwhirl. I actually like the blue. <sighs> hmm. 
I'm gonna put all of them in C. No, I'm putting Polyrath in D. Polyrath is just a disappointed one. I'd have actually wanted Polyrath to have, like, the lighter blue, as even though it's just a lighter shade, it's, it's still a nice shade of blue. Abra and Kadab are very F. No difference, just lighter skin tone, pretty much. Really lame shinies. Alakazam, at least is a noticeable difference, but still it's not any better. I mean, it is better, because it's going to be higher in the tier list, but it's not amazing. I'll put it in C. Uh, the Macho, the Machop line. Honestly, not not great shinies. I think Machoke might actually have the best shiny out of all of them, because he got some little blue, like, veins, whatever they're supposed to be, and it actually looks... The blue is actually a nice complement to its body. Machop shiny is lame. I think I'm going to put Machop shiny... I'll put it into D, because at least Machamp is a cool enough Pokemon that I'll still be excited that I'll have a shiny Machamp. Machoke, I will put in C, and Machamp is also going. I'll put Machamp in C as well, but I still think Machoke is the better one of that bunch. Uh, Bellsprout, Bellsprout looks pretty lame here, but I think Bellsprout is actually kind of solid. I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put. Weeping Bells looks odd too. I'm gonna put. Weeping Bells in C. Bell Sprout in C. Weeping Bell in D. But Victory Bell in B. Cause the purple, bluish. Uh. Like mouth line. Lips? Is this supposed to be Victory Bell's lips? That, that's a nice touch to it. We're finally at Charizard, boys. F. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I gotta go. Oh, whoops. I gotta move it all the way here. Charizard, obvious S. It's freaking black with red with a red wing accents to complement it. It looks amazing. Awesome. Perfect shiny. Tentacool and Tentacruel. I honestly got good shinies, but I don't really care about Tentacruel or Tentacruel, but I'll put them in B, because they, they are solid shinies, they are solid shinies, I'll have to give it that. Geodude, the Geodude line, I don't really care about the Geodude line's shinies, I'm going to put all of them in D. Ponyta and Rapidash, they got solid shinies, they're not going, they're not going to C, I just got to move them up. Um, I like Ponyta's better than Rapidash's. I think I'm gonna put Ponyta in S and Rapidash in A. I really wish Rapidash just kept the blue. Like, the blue fire just looks so much cooler. Slowpoke, Slowpoke's F. It's freaking... A bad, horrible shiny. It's horrible. Squirtle. I'm gonna put Squirtle in D, because you can't really tell it unless you look at the shell. Uh, Slowbro. Slowbro's not bad. I'll put Slowbro in S. I'll put Slowbro in B. Uh, Magneton and Magnemite, I'll put them in C. Could be better. I wish it was, a, like, a more, even more gold than what it currently is. Farfetch is an F. Farfetch has to be an amazing shiny for me to care about it, and it's not. So, it's F. I would never want to hunt for a shiny Farfetch'd. Dodio, Doduo, and Dodrio. I'm gonna put in C. They're just green. Seal and Dugon. F. One of the worst shinies in the game. Barely and barely any different. Like I can't. I don't. I'm not even sure if this is the shiny version. It's like, isn't Seal a little more like slight orangish? Just horrible. Just a horrible shiny. Muck and Grimer, C. They're alright. Uh, War Turtle, also put in C. Shelder. Shelder and Cloyster shinies are solid. I like I actually I like Shiny Shelder more than I like Shiny Cloyster. I'm gonna put Shiny Shelder in A, Shiny Cloyster in B. Both 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 still pretty solid shinies. Uh Ghastly. I I actually like Ghastly Shiny, especially like this sprite right here. It looks really nice. I'm putting Shiny Ghastly in B. 
I would be higher if I knew that their evolu- if I knew that- if I didn't know that the evolution line get worse and worse the far, far, farther it goes. Haunter going into C, because at least it gets a little blue aura and its ton is blue too. But Gengar is going into F, like Gengar shiny his ass. Like it's so disappointed like how bad shiny Gengar is. Shiny Onyx is going into C, it's honestly a horrible shiny, but it evolves into shiny Steelix. Which is amazing, so I would be very happy to get a shiny Onyx. My rank, that knowledge, I'm not even sure if that makes sense to you guys, but it makes sense to me. And it's my tier list. If you want to make your own shiny tier list, I'll put the link in the description so you can make your own tier list. Uh, five more shinies, the most exciting shinies ever. The shiny Drowsy line, the shiny Kingler line, and Blastoise. I don't know why they ordered this how they did. Uh, Drowsy and Hypno are going into D. I don't care about them. Shiny Krabby and Kingler, they're not going into D, they're going into C. They're honestly not that great of shinies, but I like Kingler and K I like Krabby and Kingler a lot, so I'll be very I I'll still be very happy to get their shinies. And I actually did hunt for Shiny Kingler, and let's go Pikachu and Eevee, just because I like Kingler and Krabby so much. Uh Blastoise, I'm also putting in C. They're alright shinies. So yeah, this was definitely a lot quicker list than most lists because all I gotta do is just say like how good the shiny is or not. If I had to rank these, um, all right, I kind of so I I ranked my ass. I was actually gonna rank all of these, but I was like, no, that takes way too long and that's way too concentrated. I gotta concentrate way too much. So my this is my S rank uh, list. So my favorite shiny. I gotta say, it's probably Shiny Charizard, but, uh, Shiny Charizard, it's a, it's a classic Shiny, like, you can hate me for it, but, I don't care, you gotta, you can't, you can't argue that it's not a bad Shiny, oh, it's overrated, maybe it is, but it's a good Shiny, so it probably deserves that overrated spot. My least favorite Shinies, damn, I got, there's a lot of Fs. I think I gotta give it to Seal and Dugon. Like, they're so bad. Like, I look at some of these other Pokemon, and it's like, I know that the shade is either a little bit lighter or a little bit darker. Like, I really can't tell when I look at a Seal or a Dugon. Maybe Persian will be the only other one. Or Far Fetched. I'll put Far Fetched. I'm actually going to put Sea King and Goldeen actually in front of Persian, because I think Persian is actually better than those two. Um, I'll leave Articuno and Zapdos there, because for if you're a legendary Pokemon, you really can't have a lame-ass shiny. Like, if, because when you hunt for it, you're going to spend most, uh, pretty much... Unless you're insanely lucky, you're going to be spending a long-ass time trying to get that shiny. So... Like... It has... It should be worth it. And I wouldn't say that these shinies will be worth that time. God, I don't feel like order. Okay, I don't feel like ordering all of this for my F. But I know what my least favorite shiny is from this generation, and that's going to be Dugan and Seal. My favorite, Charizard, Gyarados second. Magikarp, I'll put no in third actually, because I involve Magikarp to Gyarados. Top three shinies, least favorite shiny, Dugon and Seal. So this, this is my Gen 1 shiny tier list, guys. If you like what you see and you want to see more, like, comment, subscribe. I'll probably be going through all the other generations just like I'm doing them with uh just for their general Pokemon. So I'll probably be going through all of the Gen Shiny list too. Just because they're easy videos, and I didn't really feel like recording today, so if, like, if I have a lot of those days, like, they're easy videos to make. So, but, anyways, like what you see, you want to see more, like, comment, subscribe, share to a friend, and I'm Sly Guy, and this is Bye Bye.